Hello and welcome to this session of 7FIVR Studio live on Instagram. It is the 20th of April 2022. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm your host, Stephanie Jennifer, CZT21, and I will be joined by my co-hosts, Debbie New, CZT18, and Susan Yo, CZT Asia 2. Please uh, give us a moment while we set up and have uh, Debbie and Susan join the session. While we're setting up, you can take out your own material and tangle along with us if you like. We'll be spending the next hour, maybe hour and a half tangling together so if you'd like to follow us on Instagram obviously I'm streaming from the account set at 7 Forest 5 Rivers Susan who yes, she's Susan CZT and I also see Debbie in the session so she is at Tangle.Pursuits. Hi, Susan. Hi, Zach. Hello. Today is a cloudy day, kind of like last week. So that's, that's interesting. Yeah. Debbie will be joining us. Let's see whether she can connect. So recording of this session will be available on our YouTube channel as well. So you can go to YouTube and search for 7 and 5 Hour Studio. We can go directly to the link youtube.com slash C slash 7 and 5 Hour Studio. And the recording will also be available on 7 and 5 Hour Studio's Instagram page. Hi, Debbie. Hi. Yeah. We're all here. So usually these sessions... We usually start off with sharing the materials that we're using today and also to give you guys who are watching uh, this session some time to set up your own materials. Susan, would you like to go first? To introduce my materials? Mm -hmm. This? <laughs> yeah, okay. Today I'm going to use the white sandala. Then together with uh, a bunch of pen. <laughs> I'm not sure. I think this is the... Stardust, yeah, the Sakura Jiro Stardust. Yeah. So I'm uh, trying to make it a uh, colorful towel today. Hopefully. hopefully yeah, hopefully. Yeah, yeah, I also <laughs> had like the idea of doing a colorful towel. Mm. Yeah. Anyways, also, yeah, using be... a white, white round towel, uh, Susan. I'm the white round towel, yes. Yeah. And then many, mm. many colored pens. Well, yeah, I many, have... many colored pens. I have an assortment. So I have a, this is actually orange uh, and purple. So someone gave me this towel. I think it's Dead Moss. Yeah, from, from way back. I think this is like maybe 2018. <laughs> uh, and then I have uh, some of my project packs. So I'm still deciding. A lot of choices. Huh? It's starting to be a thing. Yeah, man. Yeah. Wow, so Susan, fun. you have a lot of pens. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, I try to pick out what I want. <laughs> Take out what, what I don't want. Yeah. How do you not get confused as to what color? Huh? Yeah, that's why I have this. <laughs> yeah. this <thing. laughs> mm. Okay. Or I just, oh. uh, anyhow, just pick the color easier, right? Yo. <laughs> oh. Yo. Money, money, home. <laughs> then, okay. <laughs> <laughs> then a surprise with the <laughs> end of that. Good luck, Susan. Thank you. <laughs> so, so I, I have like this, a similar idea with uh, Susan about colourful tile, but I've started with uh, a tinted tile. It has lots of colours on it. And then I have my intense blocks. Let me just see whether I can get them on camera. Yeah, 
intense blocks that I'm going to be using to add shading later on. Ah. Otherwise, it's just very basic tangling supplies, black pen, white jelly. Maybe you want to tell them what are intense blocks? What are intense blocks? They are... Yeah. Some people yeah. might never have seen them, you see. They are ink sticks, I guess you would call them. So this is the 72 uh, set. And uh, it's the, they are the one's largest set. Doesn't really have like an explanation of like how this guy. Yeah, but this this tray pops up to give you the greens and the browns. And then the top tray has the blues, reds and yellows. So they're basically like a whole stick of uh colour of ink. So it's not like watercolor where once you lay down watercolor you can actually still rewet your paper and then lift the pigment off from the paper. Intense is ink, so once the uh, ink has dried down on your paper, it's basically permanent. So it, it creates opportunities for interesting layering and uh, effects. You can use the sticks directly on the paper, but the way that I like to use it is to use a water brush and then uh, rub it against the sticks and then use that kind of like how I would use uh, watercolors. It's kind of yeah. like a paint palette. Yes. A giant one. Pink. Yeah, I was going to say very big. Yeah. Okay, so I decided to, since all of you are using so much colour, right? Then I was just KIV my orange and purple towel to another mm -hmm. day. Well, another day won't be too Next long. Week. I mean, it's been here for <laughs> years. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, so I think I'll uh, use my Project Pack 06 uh, booklet. Uh, I have started it already. Uh, this is my first page. And then I have a few more pages. Uh, I tried to do uh, according to the series that they taught uh, on YouTube. Uh, but but uh, I couldn't follow through because I'm a rebel. And then I just cannot follow instructions like Stephanie. Boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I have, I have like bits and pieces done already. And then, uh, yeah, so just going through quickly, yeah, bits and pieces. So I, I managed to do, I think, one of the later project packs on this as well, uh, just for fun. Golden ratio, something like that. Yeah, so I think I'll probably use this book. So I have a blank page somewhere, and then I'm going to use it. Susan, do you have this book? Yes, I have. Got do or not? Got feeling? Ooh, I haven't started. <laughs> started <laughs> maybe next week. Started maybe early. next week. Not I yet. Haven't started. Oh, okay. Mm, it's start still very start. new. Okay. <laughs> hey, don't copy my idea. Yo. Huh? <laughs> take turn, take turn. Good it's things okay. must be copied. Yeah, yeah, good things must share. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. And and today I also uh remembered my my candy. 12B and 14B pencils. Uh, so these are mm. Faber Castell peak graphite uh, pencils. They go up to 14B. So they're brand new. Yep. You better mm. give it a shot. It'll be and interesting then, because, because right. yeah, so actually I have like, I have a lot of other things here like with colors and stuff, right? But since you guys are doing the colors, so I'm grabbing my uh, six pack of Koi brushes in grey to do a grey scale and probably my white jelly rolls and stuff. So Steph gave me her white jelly roll. No. Yeah, because mine was dying. So now I have like five white jelly rolls. Let's see which one doesn't die. But <laughs> <laughs> she refused to throw it away. She see why if he yeah. decides to work tomorrow? I'm like, yeah, oh. I know, right? Like, why, why throw it away? Like, you see, yeah, with, with jelly rolls, they are so finicky, right? You can't exactly guarantee that they won't work tomorrow, you know? No, oh, what temperamental jelly roll? Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. I'm temperamental too. We're all grumpy. Let's go. <laughs> okay. Who wants to share today's string? Susan, Debbie? Today when sorry. Debbie mentioned, mentioned about the string, mm. just now I think about that. Is the string a string? A real string? 
Well, just, yeah, you, you are. Got... <laughs> so it's a dot. Child, the last time I suggested three S, right? She had to change it mm. to two S and a D. And mm. then every time I suggest something is bad, so maybe you should suggest it the next time. You, you, you know why? Maybe it's no. like a three three years old uh girls or boys. Everything you tell them, they say no. <laughs> they want no. to do in their way. So I, yeah. in the sense that I will in, by influenced by them. So everything, <laughs> why no? <laughs> okay, I will follow three dots. Oh my goodness! It's a street today. Ah, <laughs> yeah. I'm very tired already. <laughs> Don't be too tired. Just relax. <laughs> <laughs> this is how she gets there and asks for all the questions. I think so. She rebels huh? against the stream. How's huh, that? No. Okay. Next week I'll come out the stream. <laughs> <laughs> we okay. take turns, ah. Uh. We Thank take you. turns, ah. Uh. Okay. After you, then it's me. So it's a three dots. Yeah. When we do that, ah, uh, we will lose track. You know. Like, huh? I don't remember. <laughs> no. No. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> uh, one person do do one month in charge of one month stream. <laughs> you are you are thinking very highly of our memory. Uh, you need to to memorize ah. Uh, you can use back the same string also ah. Uh. Ah uh, yeah, don't want uh, yeah. So boring. So you can have the three dots with the same distance, like a triangle, mm. or even you want to make it mm, maybe at a side. Then it depends on you whether you want to join the uh the dots, just like our uh eight steps of our zentangle, right? The four corner dots. Now we have the three. Yeah. So I think I will join them into a triangle. If you want to leave it there as a center point of your to grow your tangle, also can. Yeah, there's a many options. So I have done mine. I'm trying to see. recall what yeah. I wanted to show you guys with the three dots left. Wait now, uh, yeah. give me a moment. Yeah, see, yeah. this is what I'm saying about my memory not being very great, right? And then you still want to test it. <laughs> 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 then why you continue? If I think of it, I'll, I'll tell everyone. Oh, I saw Stephanie. The three dots become three circles. Blocks. Yeah? Mm -mm. Blocks. Mm. Right, if your pen is yeah, good idea. Enough. So. If your pen is big enough, it, it can make three giant dots. Oh yeah, I use the marker. Mm, so maybe good idea. Like, mm. like what? What the the uh, Debbie do the the black ink and the white background the one. If you're mm -mm. using the black ink, just the mm -mm -mm. one drop. Yeah, it'll be nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is um, one drop? What is it called? The, the uh, liquid acrylic? Is it? What yeah. Is it? Yeah. Dilla Rami. The ink. Yeah, mm. I remember. How come I don't remember? Long, long ago. How many years long, ago? Long, long ago. <laughs> <Many years ago. laughs> oh, I think I actually have, have one in my pouch right now, actually. Because it's been oh, so long ago that I was like, I will show you. I will show you. If I have it. Do I even have it? Oh, I took it out. Oh, no. So sad. Okay. So, so while she is hunting it down, right? I, I thought about three dots, mm -hmm. right? So, you know dominoes? Uh, yeah, so one of it looks like a domino. Mm. Right? So basically, mm. right, your tangles can sprout out of nowhere and combine. Or not. Anybody confused as to what I'm saying? And then Very clear. You can... Understand. <laughs> We really like domino draw more. Yeah, and, and then you can have one dot in the middle, right? And then you can actually randomly put them around. So you have three dots like that. So this one is what I think looks like a bowling ball. You know, in a bowling ball, you put your fingers in, right? Mm. So you can actually have a round towel also. And it will really look like a bowling ball. Okay, let me think of the next one. Because I still have, but I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> okay, for everyone else, well, Debbie <laughs> thinks, basically, these, these are the step outs to uh, this week's featured tangle of uh, the week, basically. So if you'd like to know 
what tangles we'll be using ahead of time, you can actually join the 7F5R Challenge uh, group on Facebook and visit this link or just search for 7F5R Challenge in Facebook's search bar. Yeah? We post these uh, weekly tangles, weekly featured tangles every Tuesday. So you actually get almost a full day um, of preparation time if you would like to join us for these Instagram live sessions or if you're re-watching can actually find out in advance what tangles will be featuring here. Yeah? SWI. Okay, I remember another one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. So, three dots also can mean like three in a corner so that when you start drawing, right, you can draw it this way and then you can create an arc. So, you can hmm. draw like linear tangles or organic tangles and then it will become like a quarter pizza or, you know, like, yeah. So that's one way to do it. Or instead of doing it uh, in a curve, right, you can do it in uh, 90 degrees as well. So that's three dots. And three then, dots. yeah, so that's one way. And I will come back to you for the last one. You, you, you see why I'm so slow at remembering is because, right, this three dot string originated with me, this idea originated with me about three weeks ago. And then our wonderful friend decided to shift it. Yeah. So because they shift it along, right? So my memory also has to has to re shift along. You know, be re dig. <laughs> yeah. So because of that, right, it's taking me a little while, but I think I'll get there eventually. Yeah, so I'll I'll, I'll go through with you guys how to draw that Y. That one's a very simple tangle. Uh you can, it's basically made out of leaf shapes. So you start off with the first leaf. And then usually I draw the left and right leaf first to create this B shape. And then the third leaf will be in the middle. And then you add a little flower back to it. So you can of course change the way that it's drawn. You can have it be very tall and skinny. And you can also have it be rounder so that it takes up more space. You can, of course, connect it to each other. So drawing behind. Varying the size of it as well. So some can be big, some can be small. Really up to you to how to draw it. And that one was inspired by the other white flower. And then when I draw it in a cluster, I do like to add tipples in any awkward spaces that I might have. So that is how you draw that one. Very simple tangle for those of you just joining us. Today's string is just three dots, lots of different ways to interpret the string. These are just two very simple suggestions. You can see on Debbie's screen, uh, she's the bottom right screen on. Uh, your monitor, your device. She has some other examples for you of how you can use the three dot string. And of course, here are the steps to the one. Tangle along with us. You can just do a black and white tile like Debbie is doing, or do um, a. But I'm tile. not using a tile. Oh yeah, fair enough. Yeah, but they can do a tile. Yeah, yeah, tinted well. towel like, like me or like Susan, you can just go crazy with colored pens. Actually, very free and easy. Well, I think Susan read my mind because one of the things that I thought about was like, you know, when you put down a dot in ink, right, it splatters. So oh. it will come out <laughs> something so like cute. a splat. Yeah, so it's like you draw around the splat. Mm. But hers is in color. So yeah, that was one of the ideas I had. And then, next time when I have the ideas, I think I'll have to write them down. <laughs> yeah. Easy. Especially if you have to wait three weeks after, in between. Yeah, I know, right? Like, after three weeks, right? You can't remember what it was about. Anyway, I, I'm not going to... I'm not going to break my brain trying to... Yeah, I know, right? Yeah. Well, if it comes to you later, you can always share. Share with everyone. <sighs> What is your string step? We each three circles touching each other, overlapping each other. 
so the image that I had was that Del Y would fit inside these three circles. Because I realized in the past few sessions, I don't actually really follow the string. So I thought maybe this session could adhere to the string a bit better. But then it's okay not to follow the string one. It's just yeah, a, yeah, of course. It's just yeah, trying to think that for you. So Susan, what is your string? The oh, spectrum. I think my string, I think it's a triangle, but it's a irregular triangle. Mm. Then I'll try to draw dots, my the white huh? Yeah, I have to connect three dots, what? Not necessarily need to <laughs> connect one. I want to talk to them, okay? <laughs> Cannot three person alone, so lonely. Social distancing. Since since they are in the same town, I, I need to for them to communicate. Be friend. Is it the three of us? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yo. You cannot just keep quiet, right? <laughs> so Logan, too much talk. Are you sure? <laughs> You're You're be very happy silence. Can. Yeah. Then no need to answer life. question today. <laughs> ah, yeah, my goodness. These two are... <laughs> ah. Okay, so I decided to... So I've actually... I, I don't know whether how much of it you can see because my, my piece is kind of like very long. I actually coloured in some parts that were not really black because I wanted more of the contrast. So I actually used a, a black permal uh marker uh, in some countries, this is called a brush pen, but it doesn't really have like a brush tip. So, uh, we don't call it a brush pen here, but it definitely has like a fine point of a 1.0. And what we like about it is that uh, it dries opaque. So it's permanent and opaque, and that's why we like it. But uh, you can also uh, use an identity pen if you like uh the fine point on the identity pen, which has two points. So that's a couple of options for you. Um, I'm actually going to do the left side first. And I don't know whether I'm going to make it symmetrical or whether I might get tired of black and white, but I will try. They changed the point of the perma pig, you know that? To brush? No, previously it was a more pointed tip. Now the new one is more of a bullet tip. Yeah, but my point is that it's, it's still not point. a brush pen like they say that it's a, you know, yeah, yeah. like they market it in some countries as a brush pen, but you know, you know right. a brush pen, I mean, this is a brush pen, right? So this is more of a brush pen, right? The, the other one is definitely not a brush pen. Mm. Uh, I think I have my Tombow somewhere as well. But I think the Tombow brush is a longer brush. Yeah. So when, when I mean, it, it's misleading if you're marketing as a brush pen because I will think of see. like, I'll think of like the Tombows. Mm. Or, or, you know, yeah. I mean, the last thing you want is to buy a pen. Then it's not the thing that you are looking yeah. for, right? Hmm. Yeah. So, I have um, five questions today. Do you all want to pick or should I? Choose number four. Oh, you are choosing it, not Susan. Mm -mm. Are you sure? Susan Every time I choose, I choose one, I'm not... yeah. Mm. Because, really? so because, be fair. You, because you are the one who likes to choose, ma, so we let you choose all. This week, I'm going to choose. <laughs> We take turns, Susan. I choose first, then you okay. can choose. Yeah. Yo, this is starting with some, some playground. Eh? All the small kids. <laughs> yeah, just have fun. Go first. Ah. I go first, then you go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, number four, is it? Mm -mm. Okay, this might be a hard one. Oh. Uh, was there a difficult time in school that left you different or feeling changed until today? Oh. And why? I'm also well, putting <laughs> to bring a why, why job, you job. The hard one. 
get it out of the way first. Go lah. Um, Susan, you want to go first? You go first? You go. Actually, I need to say thank you. Yeah, me too. Yeah. It's okay to think first. Yeah, we can wait. I don't think anyone expects us to answer very quickly either. Yeah. I remember in primary school, so I went to a, a, a government school, and Eurasians are not, were, was, pardon me, were not very common in public schools, in government schools, um, during my time when I was at that age. I remember the first day of school, of primary school, so I was like se- six, seven years old, the principal called me aside and said, why do you dye your hair? I'm like, I didn't dye my hair. She's like, follow me to the office. So she dragged me to the office and I was like crying because I'm being accused of something I didn't do. And she's calling my mom. My mom's not answering. Yeah, so I had a very bad time. And then eventually she got through to my mom and then she was like, why do you dye your child's hair? She's like, my, my daughter is like a, a, a tiny child. I'm not going to dye her hair. It's a natural hair color. She's Eurasian. And the principal was a bit embarrassed but she didn't apologize to me. She just sent me back to, to class. So I enter class like red face crying, blotchy, tears everywhere. <laughs> yeah, but that hasn't affected you until today, like. No, I'm getting back. <laughs> Can you wait? <laughs> Hold on, I'm getting there. No. And then I remember like going home and then my mother I didn't want to go back to school. Then my mother said, you know, you have to go back to school. So like there's this feeling of being other, you know, like you're not like other people. And then later on, uh, in my school year, I had uh, classmates who would, I guess, looking back on it, I would consider it teasing, not bullying. They would run away during, during recess, they would run away from me, and then they would say, monster, monster. So it's kind of like a chasing game. But I didn't, I didn't, they didn't tell me like, well, let's play chasing, you will be the monster. It's just like, they just ran away from me and called me a monster. So then at the point in time, it felt very bad. It hurt me a lot. So there's this like feeling of being other. And um, my husband's also Eurasian. And he also like shared like similar f- sentiments of like how during his school years, he also felt very other. Because you don't really... Can you not use the word other? It's a bit not very nice. Yeah, because it's not a nice feeling. <laughs> no, it's not very nice. Yeah. Yeah. I understand what you mean though, but I think it's not an appropriate word. Or oh, it's like yeah. saying someone's a half me. Some people are okay with the term, some people are not. So, but this is this is my story. That's how I felt. No, you can it's say not... you can say that it made you feel ostracized or different. But I think other is not a very good word. It sounds, yeah, because a lot of people are proud of their heritage, right? Of being other. Mm-hmm. And I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say that. You know. It's bad being different from other people, see? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you sort of grow into your own identity, but as a child, it's, it's very confusing to have that kind of feeling where like, you don't fit in and you're not accepted. So that's an experience that stuck with me. And then in secondary school, so secondary school would be from 12, 13 years old onwards, like things got a lot better. And then people, the kids grew a lot more sensitive. Yeah. So I'm glad. I'm glad that society as a whole has made progress. And then my mother-in-law, she teaches in uh, government school, and she said that now it's actually more common to have like Eurasians or um children of other races within her her class class. So that's interesting to note as well. Yeah. Maybe Susan, who wants to go next? Maybe you want to go first? I still mm, trying to think still back. thinking because for me, school mm. is very long ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I'm serious. Yeah. Let's, I mean, let's dig very deep. Yeah. Well, long, there, was, long, long. there was one, there was, um, well, hmm. This, this is not something that really, really, really hurt me or really, really changed me though. But I do remember it until today. La. So when I was uh, 14, uh, in Singapore, it's 
uh, our secondary school year, uh, year two in secondary school. So when I was 14, I participated in the National Day Parade. Mm. Yeah, and uh, a lot of people uh, were very unhappy with me actually because when we got selected, we weren't given a choice uh, oh, to back out. Yeah, it's, it's kind of like you are assigned, you know, what you are supposed to do la, on that day, right? And, and uh, I remember that we had to wear a, a green jumpsuit. So it's like, you know, tree green, like forest green, green. Okay. Yeah, so it's from top to toe, you're wearing green. And you have a green hat. You're a little plant. Uh... And everyone was wearing basically the same thing. And we would have to meet on weekends. So all our weekends, Saturday and Sundays, were gone. Mm -hmm. And I was really unhappy about it because... Uh, I mean, I can understand if it's a school day and then you are committing to a sort of like a schedule, right? But mm. we kind of like lost all of our weekends and our teachers who were accompanying us uh, also lost all of their weekends and they kind of took it out on us a bit. La. You can see that they're not happy, right? Being assigned to look after us. Mm. Uh, but the thing was that they could take turns. So different teachers would be on duty every week. Whereas it's the same old batch of us, right? We're, we're not taking turns, right? We're there, right? So they could take turns, but they were very grumpy. And then when we were very grumpy, they would yell at us also. Yeah. And I guess um, we were all really, really tired and really, really hot and, well, hungry. But they would still feed us. Like. It's just that very little. Like. I mean, the portion is like one burger each or something, you know? Yeah. And, and of course, the food would be cold and greasy and stuff. But then, you know, last time people don't really care about... Uh, nutrition and stuff especially if you're on a school trip right so a lot of the parents these days would have complained if it were their kid it's just that in my era uh, we basically just told to suck it up la. right uh, and and so and so I really dislike green after that <laughs> I, until now yeah I really hate that particular shade of green uh, I think I have something like that, you know, a particular shade of green, you know, this type of green, 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 this type of dark, mm. very dull green, and from top to toe green, and everybody is wearing the same thing, and then we had to carry an umbrella that was the same color, and the props that we were using were the same color also. Yeah, so, so basically... I kind of like uh, never got around to liking that color uh, and it, I guess it it bothered me for a very long time because I felt like we were being exploited <laughs> oh, you I know right yeah and and it was only until, you know. it, yeah it was only until they only pay us with like burgers you know <laughs> yeah 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 <laughs> And then the burgers are like, um, you, you know how, how the McDonald's burgers uh, have like condiments in them, right? Like they have mm -hmm. like the lettuce and then the sauce mm -hmm. and then the, the bits. La. Our burgers were empty, just the, just the meat and the Bye. bread, you know. It's not even real burgers. Yeah. Okay, so cheap that's labor. my rent. But it, it, got, it got to me all the way until... Um, so I struggled with it all the way until I actually saw what uh, after like probably like six weeks of this uh, or, or more than six weeks, I cannot remember exactly, but it got to me all the way until one day I saw us uh, on the practice footage. So they asked us to practice, right? But they never show us any footage. So we don't know what we're doing. So we are just following orders, turn right, turn left, up, down, you know, that kind of, and you don't know what you're doing you, because you are just one in a crowd and everybody's doing the same thing. Right, so one day I actually saw the practice footage. Then I realized that oh, they had us all in the configuration on an island. Uh, the shape of Singapore, 
you know oh. and yeah and 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 basically we were like representative of the virgin forest oh. so oh that's a game yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. And no, really there, you know, like so. It's really is plant. <laughs> yeah. So my point is that if you had just communicated sure. to us and gave us like a vision, you know, oh, you will be doing this and this and this, and then mm-hmm. please bear with us. You know, we'll be done in the how long? You know, that kind. I mean, well, this mm. just shows you that people don't know how to communicate, lah, right? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, so so I I guess I guess that was one uh that was one instance where I realized that uh I actually felt patriotic after and only <laughs> after I found out what they were doing. So before that, before I knew whatever they were doing, right? I was so grumpy. Everyone was so grumpy. Uh, if they had told us what we were doing and explained to us uh, a little bit better, I don't think they would have struggled so much with us, lah. Right. I mean, who wants a bunch of grumpy fourteen-year-olds? Right. Like nothing better to. I mean, and it's a it's a weekend somewhere, you know. So you want to mm. be happy, but you can't also because all these grumpy fourteen-year-olds like stomping around, carrying all their umbrellas and stuff. So we had two umbrellas each, you know, and I really hated them. Yeah. So we. Yeah. So, yeah, and I guess after that, I realized that actually, actually, it's not so bad, lah. What they wanted us to do, but we never got to see it until much later, and never got to understand, you know, the visual. You see, so mm-hmm. so I understood from that that you know actually right, you can get, you can get people to buy in, uh, with whatever you're doing actually, but you need to have a clear communications on your part what that person is doing. If not, the person is going to be like stomping around, and being very frustrated with everybody, not knowing how he or she is contributing. And then when that person is unhappy, the person will make your life worse too. Right? Because people want to have purpose, right? And it's like, what am I doing? Dressed up all in green. No, I could have been studying. I could have been, I could have been doing something else. It's a weekend. And mm. we burned so many weekends until we found out what we were doing, you know? So it wasn't mm. like we weren't physically there for you to tell us. We were there. Right? And there were so many of us. Right? And you, even if you don't want to tell us, you can tell our teachers and our teachers can tell us, right? But mm-hmm. our teachers also don't know what we're doing, you know. <laughs> yeah, so our teachers can't tell us also. So, I mean, it's, it's a communications thing. It's not... Uh, looking back, if they had showed us more visuals and explained to us the, the, the situation and stuff, right? I think all of us would be more inclined to, to see it as a performance rather than a duty. Like, mm. see it as a display. Uh, I mean, like, putting together a display or a tribute, you know? Rather than, like, like like a chore, is what I'm saying. Yeah. Mm. So yeah, communication. Okay, Susan, no running away now. Yeah. Actually, there's no uh any experience that happened in school that affect me too much. Because uh, this person very good Susan, life, ah. Uh. Susan, yeah, I was gonna say Susan had very nice childhood. Okay. <laughs> I think I think the 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 good life comes nice with you, bad mem- bad memory. <laughs> Because of the bad memory, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> okay, sometimes. Because oh, I, I think... Bad. That's why you can't yeah, my memory is bad. Oh. That's why I cannot remember <laughs> if there are any things that uh, affects me. Yeah. Mm. Because that, I think last week, the uh, friends of mine uh, in uh, Polytechnic asked me about whether you remember something. And I said, I cannot remember. <laughs> so, I, my memory is quite bad. But the one thing that... Um, I think one of the very embarrassing uh, experience that I still can remember today is, is actually happened during my sca- secondary school time. I think that one is maybe, what age am I? Maybe 16? Uh, 16, around that. Uh, because in, in the school, I'm the one of the uh, prefect. Well, do you call prefect da, da, da. in school? Mm, prefect. No, no, not that data. Mm, okay. Prefect, correct. Data, I... Uh, 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 I, I'm studying in a, a Malaysian <laughs> gut. What <laughs> can <laughs> No, we have a very good attitude and good model, okay? <laughs> that can be the <laughs> prefect. Okay, because I'm in the, the government uh, secondary school. So for the prefect, we are wearing the long skirt. Ooh. And it's a really a long, but it's not those, uh, it's a straight cut. 
long skirt, mm-hmm. then with a long I sleeve uh, shirt. Huh? You see before? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Then uh, in my school time, uh, I think I mentioned before that I'm in the St. John Ambulance. So mm-hmm. during the sports day, we are on duty. We are not going to participate in those uh, uh, events for the sports days. So, but yeah. during the, before the sports, uh, I'm very happy actually <laughs> because I'm not good in sports. <laughs> Okay, but we are still required to uh to practice together with our uh classmate before the sports. So what? we still need to jog, just jog with them, to run with them, then just as the exercise. Yo, the then, way Susan, uh, she like, hey, hey, I don't need to do that. You need to do. I don't need to do. Ayoh, yeah, oh we still need to do. Just that, <laughs> just that we don't need to 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 train so hard <laughs> compared to others. Yeah. Uh, then because uh, uh, I remember why <laughs> pretend to run. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretend to run. <laughs> pretend to run. Don't don't run. Then don't run too fast so yes. that you won't be picked up by the team to represent the team. Uh, then there's the day that me and my another friend, also a prefect, we tried to ponting. Ah, uh. I, I, I can't remember how we. We we can't I can't remember how we one thing, but we're gonna caught <laughs> then end up and up two of us <laughs> caught by the teacher and asked us to wear the <laughs> keep uh, we wear the the prefect uniform and run at the field. Oh dear! For I can't remember how many rounds. Mm. Well, Damn embarrassing, <laughs> huh? Prefect. <laughs> We we just sponting one time, what to to our <laughs> international <laughs> audience. You know, you know, uh, when I was primary one or primary two, right? I had this uh very strict form teacher, you know. So we were all uh late for I think one of the class ended late, and then we were all running back to to class for the next lesson, right? You know, you know how primary mm. two you are like it's very small, right? And then he's like, mm. people do you also cannot too, run right? fast. <laughs> no, it's not. So I so everybody was running, you know, like everybody was so scared to miss the next class, right? So I ran also. Mm. Then then my form teacher took away my monitor's badge. I was class monitor. No. Because of you run? Just because I run. Huh? So yeah, thing, right? Oh, as a as a prefect cannot run, huh? <laughs> Must walk <laughs> from it's, it's, it's not prefect, it's, it's, it's class zang, monitor. No mm-hmm. Oh, oh, zang, oh yeah, monitor, class, okay. Class monitor only. It's you're setting bad example than me. Yeah. Huh? Hey, I'm scared to be late for class, leh. Which one is more important? Ah, I ask you. You think cheat and fall down? I got reason. I got reason. Terrible. One. So naughty. <laughs> hey, for, I got for, reason. Um, I want to be on top of my class. For our international audience, spontane means to play through one. Okay, so just just for context on Susan's story. <laughs> both the stories are quite poetic. Yeah, both Susan and Abby. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's why I, I don't like I don't like running. Yeah. <laughs> Are you asking me to answer? Cause, cause after that, right? People ask me to be more. Yeah. I don't want to be with. So because cannot run. Okay, then okay, then okay, then you you just want to run? I won't be out. What's such a thing? I can take back class one the. Yeah. So she okay. thought as to punish me, lah. I suppose. But my point is that I don't believe for class. Yeah, I don't know. I, I but don't but know. actually, yeah, in in Malaysia, some some in Malaysia, right? Some of the school I heard that my friend shared with me, uh, they were purposely to choose the the very naughty person. Mm-hmm. Maybe most of the time is a n- naughty guy, the boy, to be the monitor. Hey, I bet <laughs> so that. No, 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 no. Oh. Yeah, I, I, I think <laughs> the wrong way. I'm not saying that. Oh, <laughs> you okay. mis- misunderstand. Okay, I think maybe in Singapore, they are, they are choosing the very good person to be the monitor. My, my but my in Malaysia, are... some of us... <laughs> <laughs> my, time, my, time, my time, each class got two monitors and one boy and girl. Not just one. I don't know. I think, I think mine had like me and another girl or something. Then the other girl, oh. right, she also ran, but she never got caught. So she still kept her oh, monitor. you don't like your face. Yeah. So then, right, I decided I don't be monitoring. You want, I also don't want. Huh. 
Last time, last time, our class monitor is class elect one. You know? We have a vote at the start of the year who should be monitor. Ah, yeah, primary school. Should. You don't know what is elect lah. Oh, <laughs> fair enough. <laughs> so poor thing. I, I remember, I remember a nice story Mate, that traumatized me. <laughs> I want to talk. I want to finish this story. Then we can go next. <laughs> it's also in, it's also in early primary school. I still remember. I don't know why my primary school life was so terrible. I remember so during Chinese class, we would go from our form class to another class. So they will uh, sort us according to uh, our results in in our mother tongue. So for me, it was Mandarin Chinese. So, uh, some kids in my form class will go to higher mother tongue. Some of them are, will go to uh, Bahasa Malayu. Some of them will go to Hindi classes. And some of them will go to the same classes, meaning for Chinese. So, you'll go to a different class from your form class. Then, I think um, after the Chinese... This, after this, right, I think they, they want to come to Singapore to study, really. <laughs> so, yeah, so traumatized. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay, sorry, can then, on. Then at, at the the end of Chinese class, we will go back to our form class. So after I finished my Chinese class, uh, we had a uh, circle time. So everyone would push their tables uh, to the edge of the class classroom, and then we would sit in the middle of the class. And then the teachers would usually like have, uh, interactive activity with us, or like play a certain game, or like uh, read a storybook to us. Then when we finish, we all push our table back to the original positions, and then we would leave the class. So. When circle time finished, then I went back to push my table back to its original place. I looked at my table, and my table was covered with correction tape. And it was my correction tape that I had bought with my money. So not only do I not have a correction tape, I'm like puzzled as to like, well, who vandalized this table with my correction tape? And then like, it's like, oh, quick, quick, you have to go back to your own form class. So I'm rushing out of the classroom. So I left, and I got caught back in. To, to the, 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 the class that I had, uh, Chinese class in. So the student was like, we're looking for Stephanie. I was like, okay, it's me. Okay, come back. Then I was asking the, the kid, what was going on? He's like, no, teacher wants to, our form teacher wants to see you. So I went to the other classroom and then the form teacher was there. She's like, can you explain why is there like correction tape all over the table? I'm like, I, don't, I have no idea. And she's like, is it your correction tape that, that is on this table? I'm like, yeah, it is my correction tape, but it's not me who did it. And then she wouldn't listen to me. And then I... I and the kind of child that you confront me a bit, I cry. <laughs> so, yeah, I am. Crying, it's not me, you know. It's not me, it's not me. <laughs> then she obviously does not believe me. Yeah. And then, she's like, if it's not you, who do you think it is? Then I said, when we had circle time, the boy who sits next to me in Chinese class did not sit on the floor. He sat on his table. So, I think he took my correction tape and then, you know, vandalized the table. But then, like, in my rush to get back to my own form class, like, didn't have time to think about it or confront him or do anything. Uh. So she said, fine. So she, she asked the, her form class, the teacher asked her form class, like, do you know who the boy is? And they were like, yeah, yeah, we know, we know. Like, we can go and get him. So someone went to get him. And then no, she the, ended the, up confessing. Your, those people are very, wow. They just want to get very into what? trouble. And you how, <laughs> how, just, yo. Then, then he ended up confessing like after time. the, yeah. <laughs> After the teacher like pressured him, he was like, yeah, I was the one who did this. She's like, why do you do it? He's like, I don't know. And he said, do you use her question? I'm like, yeah. And she's like, okay, you can go back to your class. So I got sent back to my class. And he never paid me back for my correction tip. But he had to Ayyoh, do... Oh my goodness. After <laughs> this, you still want your correction... <laughs> yeah! <laughs> my correction tip, okay. <laughs> then, he, but he had to do um, community service hours. So uh, during recess, every, every single recess, he would spend... Um, I think half of his recess cleaning all the tables of that, that floor and that, that, the classrooms. So yeah, that's what happened to him. And I never received an apology for like from him for like getting me in trouble. Oh. And again, again he gonna punish already, <laughs> and, and again going back to my phone class and then just crying and all <laughs> what's going on? <laughs> Stupid. Uh, so yeah, that's my story. <laughs> Okay, what's the next question? Yeah, I don't know why you want to answer this until like that also. Please don't start crying, yeah. ah. Can, can. <laughs> okay, number what? This one was number four. Susan? Huh? Three. Huh? <laughs> number three. Okay, la, number three is quite easy. La. Number three is quite easy. Very good. Okay. How do you start your day? Do you have a morning ritual? And share it with us. 
Excuse me. Susan, do you have a morning ritual? Okay. After I wake up, <laughs> go to the washroom. Then the second thing that I brush my teeth. Then the second thing is do the meditation. Actually, oh. uh, because I attended a uh, a uh, class or is this like a class or just a maybe some uh, <coughs> okay just sharing especially as a class yeah. Uh, then they have a uh, practice with the meditation. So every morning, uh, six twenty, mm. they will start a uh, a uh, meditation with via the Zoom. Yeah, so it's every day. If I manage to wake up, then I'll just uh, join the Zoom and meditation together. Yeah, you like Zoom a lot, so, eh? huh? A lot of fun activity <laughs> on Zoom. Yeah, yeah, a lot of fun activity. Hmm. I Zoom with the teachers in USA, teacher in Russia, <laughs> and in Singapore, Malaysia. Hmm. I like Zoom very much. <laughs> teachers in Russia. Yeah, no, the neurographical, the neuro. Yeah. The neuro- oh. I, I'm not sure whether he's. I'm not sure whether he. We we didn't mention about this thing. Yeah. No. Mm. Actually, a lot of uh, uh, Russian people they don't like the war. So. No, yeah, but they don't what understand they what it's about. You know, a lot of them because the media uh-huh. in their country doesn't record the correct thing. They portray. But I think Russia now a day. Yeah, but nowadays, because of the social, uh, the media, the internet, everything, I think the people there uh, might still not know really. what is because not really. Example, not. Right, then I'm not for sure. example, for them to connect out, right? They are kind of like China. The government controls the internet. You get what I mean? So do you remember mm. when we were talking about? Uh, yeah. So when we were talking about China having the problem of their media being controlled, right? Um, in mm. Russia is is also similar. So I have friends in Russia also. Uh, I haven't talked to them recently, like, cause this is no time. And then also, I think very jaded by everything, right? That's happening. So not really in the mood to communicate with them, lah. But when we did talk in the past, uh, mm. they will tell me that you know certain apps are blocked in the app shop mm. because uh of the media. Like they they want to censor certain things. They are not free to sort of like uh, choose the media outlet that they want because everything is censored, lah. So some of the apps uh are not open to the Russian market. Even mm. even before the war, this is even before the pandemic. Uh, yeah. So it's it's very hard to assume that they know what is going on for real because what they are seeing on their media is um actually a very very different picture right now. And they actually think that they are on the defensive, you know, some of them, rather than the fact that they were the ones who invaded first. No. Okay, sorry, this is not about that. Okay, continue, please. Yeah, I finished. Ah. <laughs> you do meditation. Yeah. It's done. You do meditation in the morning. Mm, okay, I shall answer. So every morning, I take my temperature, and then I take my weight, and then I come out and greet my cats, and I turn on the lights for my husband's terrapin, okay. and then usually my cats will be very needy, la. yeah. So they usually try so and they, get out so, of the kitchen so if she, they can. She, yeah, yesterday she joined us for tea meeting. The cat, I mean. <laughs> <sighs> Join <laughs> without <laughs> invited. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and she thinks she's human. You see, mm. <laughs> yeah, she thinks she's human. So every morning, I I greet them and then I get them food and then I change their water supply and then I have a liquid breakfast and then I look at the snail whether he's still alive. <laughs> um, this is the first time this is the first time I ever have a snail in my life you see. like a pet snail so I check on him to make sure he's still alive uh, I haven't checked on him today because today I was very busy I was in a big rush actually so today was was quite hectic I haven't looked at him at all he might not be alive anymore don't know no. do, do, do you ever uh, do the research that how how long the snail can live for? 
Yeah, but because they are very sensitive. Days or months? Oh, oh years, many years. So. Oh, is it? Wow. Yeah, it, it's just that I don't know how long we can keep him because the box is only so big, lah. You know. Does that make sense? So it's mm. kind of like uh, it's kind of like we can keep him as long as we can maintain uh a place for him to stay safe in, lah. Right. But snails are very, very sensitive uh, to chemicals. So, for example, right, uh, you know how we have uh, vegetables that are not organic? Uh, mm. Yeah, so even if I accidentally feed him something wrongly, there's a chance that he might react to it, you know? And, mm. of course, I will not know until too late, lah. Until when it's too late, then I'll find out. Bring, bring so, I'm very shop. careful. I've been, I've been uh, very careful with his uh, meals. Uh, I've been... I, I clean his meal, uh, his food very uh, thoroughly, I think. And then also because, you know, snails, when they move about, they leave slime all over the place, right? Snails. Mm. Yeah. So, in a way, every time when I clean his tank, I cannot use detergent also. I have to, I have to make sure that it is clean using uh, a certain type of... Uh, uh, so I have this filter actually. I have a water filter that can switch between alkaline and acidic water. So in mild alkaline water, like something like 8 or 9 pH and then acidic water of somewhere between 5 or 6 uh, pH. So it's, it's kind of like a, instead of using uh, chemicals, I use... Uh, water to sort of clean his tank just because I'm afraid that he might die on us. Yeah. And then on my Facebook, right, uh, someone is telling me not to abandon him. I'm like, you don't know how much I'm going through just to keep him alive? Like, hello? Like, I've never been the kind of person to abandon a live person or a live thing or a live object. So, that person obviously doesn't know me. Lah. Yeah. Or doesn't know the real me. Yeah. So, recently, uh, Recently, I've been trying to take more photos of the snail though. But he likes to hide uh, in the lettuce. So, sometimes... Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. And because, you know, snail, uh, snail slime has a uh, high allergy... Uh, it's, it's, it's considered something like a cat scratch. You know, you, you, your, your skin can react very badly to a cat, a cat scratch. So, your skin can actually react very badly to a snail slime as well. So because of that, I'm very careful because I cannot touch him also. And I cannot touch his stuff. So it's either I kill him or I kill me, right? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, so I'm very careful. And and I'm taking a lot of pains just to clean him and stuff, you know. Yeah, so that is part of my day-to-day -day routine. Of course, he doesn't really, at this point, he's not that big yet. He's still quite tiny. So he doesn't really, really need to be clean every day. Like. It's just me uh, trying to maintain a sort of like a routine where he has a clean uh, area to live, right? And of course, as he gets bigger, then that might change because it might present more logistic issues. Ah. Mm. But they can live quite long, actually. Yeah. I, I googled uh, almost everything about snails when he came, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Stephanie, you have an no. answer. I wake up. Stephanie. No, no, I let you go first. I wake up. Then I have <laughs> breakfast. Usually I stay on social media for a while, like just looking. Because um, the rest of my team wakes up much earlier than I do. <laughs> so hey. when, when, when I'm up, usually I just go through like to see whether there's like anything that like, needs my media attention. Well, like it's time sensitive. Usually, there isn't anything too big, too major. And yeah, see, first... we spoil her, you know. We clear all the issues before she comes in. Yeah, exactly. Then, <laughs> then um, breakfast is very important for me. I cannot wake up unless I have breakfast. It's, it's not just breakfast. Bre it's every meal, Steph. Every meal very important to you. No, <laughs> la, but breakfast is most important. I can't wake up without breakfast. No, but you, eat, you eat most of the time. All humans need to eat to survive, like you make it sound like. I'm yeah, but you, you eat a lot more human. than most humans. So bad. <laughs> eat an appropriate amount for the size of you the know, human. You know, when, I, when I started taking her out, right, 
I was shocked at the amount that she would eat, you know, really. So bad. And then here am I. No, it's true. I'm trying to praise you. It's a good it's a good thing to have a good I'm appetite. Squishy. And why I'm squishy. You... <laughs> okay, anyways, after breakfast, then usually bathe, change, then we need to go work, then go work, then reach office around ten. And then there'll be sometimes checks in with me. Or sometimes I'll just be left through my own devices. Yeah, then if I don't no, go into work... I think we just abandon you, eh? No, not. Like, I, I, I have to do my <laughs> own things also, right? Like, <laughs> I have my own task <laughs> that I know I need to get done. Yeah, it's not, it's not, not, not a literal child, lah. Do need to be minded all the time, like, right? I hope not. How I hope I not mean, either. Then, uh, if I'm not going into office... Recently, I, I would uh, usually be found at Debbie's place because we're working on a project and I need equipment that uh, only Debbie has. So I yeah, actually, I offered place. to buy it for the office, but she didn't want. Yeah. Okay, so, anyways, so we're not talking about that right now. <laughs> too bad. Too bad. Too bad. Yeah, then <laughs> if I'm not at Debbie's office, I will work from home. But Debbie's yes, office? Oh. At Debbie's office. Well, you have a work-in wardrobe. Yeah, but I right, usually don't hang out there. I usually <laughs> hang out in like the living area, living room area. Yeah, they got the meow meow there, so that's always nice. Yeah, and her cats like know me now. Like I'm not a stranger, so like they're not scared of me. So that's that's just. Nice. But but this is not the first time you work for my place, lah. Right? Yeah, that's you why like they're from my place as well. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I have one very outgoing cat, and then one very shy cat, and yeah. they both love her. Uh, yeah. well, not. The, the outgoing one has sort of calmed down a bit. Whatever, <laughs> whatever you no, are like, always you, there. You, you, you don't, you don't, you don't, uh, you don't give me what I want, I don't want to talk to you. <laughs> yeah, then she, she got, she got jealousy issues. Uh, if I say hello to her brother before her, she'll be like, excuse me, I'm more yeah. important. <laughs> so I have to say hi to her first, otherwise she'll get offended. So she's quite, she's yeah. quite a funny kid. The same one that thinks she's a human, yeah, that's the one. Yeah. 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 I have to teach the class. Do you remember mm. last time? No, 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 no. Sit on the chair. Yeah. So simple. I, I, I wish I can be like Susan <laughs> or Debbie mm-hmm. have like a set routine and all. I'm like usually just bumbling around. The I wouldn't say that my routine is set though. I mean, I wouldn't call my routine as fixed lah. You know, it's mm-hmm. quite fluid. It's just that, it's just that I know some of the things that I do uh, every day is take my weight, take my temperature because I'm actually logging everything down. So, yeah. And then if I don't do it the first thing I wake up, right, once I get to my email, that's it, man. I lose track the whole day already. Everything is work. <laughs> yeah. So, I, I kind of learned my lesson to get, get through all of that first. I think it's okay not to have a morning routine like fixed in stone lah. It's not so bad. Why do you need to fix your routine though? What is it that you want fixed? I want I want to start to meditate more. I think that that would be beneficial for me. Yeah. We'll see how it goes. You mean... Still. So do you mean that you're adding that to your routine or you are just yeah, saying that the like, day you want to meditate more? Yeah, yeah. So you know like uh, habits sometimes or oftentimes you need to be prompted, right? But then which part of your day the prompt comes in is also important. So if you're like very, very busy at that point in time, the prompt comes in, you also ignore it. So I'm trying to find that sweet spot where like when the prompt comes in, then I'm like, okay, I will do that. So it's an app thing lah. Yeah, yeah, it's like crop thing basically. <laughs> yeah, I see people in the well, comments. The one that I'm using sorry. is not bad. Oh, okay. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I was the just going to say that. I, the app that I was using is not bad, but uh, I took away the prompter because it gets very annoying after a while. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, I still I like log prompts. in. So I, I still log in like in the morning and at night, right, to put in my journal entry or whatever, right? Uh, but I switch off the. I think I think you can toggle it lah to suit the time that you want it to prompt you. But mm. I I have found that it, any time I set it is wrong. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's what I'm... Yeah, any, any time mm-hmm. I have said it, it will be wrong. Uh, so if you are familiar with us, you know that we run like an international conference for CDPs uh, that is about to, to, to start up again soon. Right, it's going to get busy again soon. So every time when, when the thing comes in, uh, it's a bad time, you know. Because we are always talking to different people around the world, all kinds of time zones. So whatever timing I have set it, right, doesn't make sense after a while. Okay. And it frustrates me. So I just switch it off and then I just remember to log in every morning and night. And that's how I do it without a fixed timing. So I, I don't have like a consistent, consistent routine where, you know, everything is down to the minute and the second. But I actually do certain things uh, on repeat. Lah. Mm. Which I think is more helpful. Lah. Because if it kills your joy, right? Then it's harder to follow the routine. Eh? Mm. Yeah. It's, I mean, journaling is easier if you are enjoying it, right? Not being harassed into journaling. Do it now. <laughs> no. Yeah. <laughs> like I mean, Susan said. I mean, the point is to relax you, right? To keep you relaxed, right? But then if you are like rushing just to get the thing done, then you are defeating your joy and your purpose. Ah. And then I don't mm. think it's very helpful. You know? Yeah. I mean, there's a better way. Lah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So, so, so should I uh, recommend... The app you and I can't stand. Not, I mean, yeah, I don't yeah. advertise here, lah. But, but not sponsored. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. We get someone who downloads, and then they just anyone downloads from us, you know. They are like, oh, do you know how to explain to you, like you know what works and what doesn't work, right? <laughs> that would be a very organic yeah, well, uh, uh, advertisement, though. <laughs> uh no lah, I think I don't want lah until they pay me. Yeah. La. How about yeah, that? Sure, sure. Yeah, sure, sure. Yeah, or at least they give me free use of their. Free use of their annual plan or something. Yo. Right? <laughs> I know, right? You, if, know the if you want plan... a sponsor. <laughs> no, the, the, the annual plan on this thing uh, is like something like 60 US dollars, you know. And oh. in, in, I mean, yeah, it's just, and, and you are doing the thinking. They are not doing anything. <laughs> general for you. <laughs> I pay you $60, you better general for me. Ah. Hmm. They generate something for you to think. But then the questions are repetitive also. Like they, they inspire you to think, right? And lock down your mm. thoughts. But at, after after about two months of it, you start to realize that there's a pattern already, you know? Yeah, you mm. can tell. Yeah. So in a way, in a way, I wouldn't... I mean, the free one works for me. Lah, and then the only reason I would get the paid one is that, well, you know, I see a need too, you see, right? But at the current the moment, paid. I don't have more time. But I don't have more time also. So even if Maybe I have the, the paid, paid one, one, got more questions. Be... Yeah, perhaps, perhaps. Like, so sick of the question, I need to buy the paid one, right? Yeah, but... yeah. <laughs> 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 no, but, but you see, if, if, if I'm paying so much and it kills my joy paying so much, then why am I paying so much? Yeah. Okay. okay. So actually, the okay. next question, right? Wait, wait, before the we get question, to the next question. Yeah. Got people in uh chat basically saying that our towns are very nice and that we have wonderful have lines. Town, Thank you though. so much. Your artwork. <laughs> okay, your artwork. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much for leaving nice comments. We really appreciate them. Yeah, go on, Debbie. What's the next question? Yeah, so basically it was a very nice uh segue, an organic segue before Stephanie interrupted it. Right? So I actually don't, I don't mention well, actually, we were talking about apps, right? And then mm. the next question is about apps. No. Oh. Mm. Aha. Not sponsored. <laughs> yeah, not sponsored. <laughs> Let's say, well, you, you can choose to say a type of app without talking about the name of the app. Oh. You know, like you can say the genre of the app, like probably a social media app without saying what it is, like is it Facebook or Instagram yeah, or whatever. Can, like, can say, like, why so shy shy? <laughs> No lah, because if you don't want to say, we, we, I mean, we recognize that some apps are private lah. Like, oh. you know, like certain apps that you use, you, you don't want people to know that you're on because they have their own sub-community or something, you know? Oh, okay. I mean, the last thing is, the last thing is, is the last thing I want is to be stopped on the app lah. Right? Like, hey, Debbie, you're also here. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I will probably not say what app in specific terms. But let's say if you are limited to having only three apps on your phone. Oh. 
right? So don't talk about the phone call app, lah. You know, that one everybody needs it, right? That's the point of the phone, right? And then, of course, don't talk about the messaging one also because if you need help and you can only text, then you need that as well, right? So I'm talking about non-essential like phone apps, optional apps. If you are limited to having only three apps on your phone, what would you choose to keep and why? Okay, Uh, I don't mind going. I have the first, answer. I think we should let Susan go first. Yeah. Okay. Three apps, right? One is the calculator. <laughs> because now I do not have any calculator now because the phone has the app. Uh, and then the calculator <laughs> not only just a not has just the app, la. because hands phone is very handy. You do not need to oh. take time to switch on your laptop. Everything. Uh, okay, then the, the calculator apps that I have also a financial calculator. So mm. I have different features to, to use it, use that. Then the oh, second you one is to do uh, accounts, right? Oh, no, no, no. I just, I just, I just need to know, I just need to know the uh, uh, present, present value and the future value and some of the interest, the, the interest percentage. Yeah, really. so, yeah, so no account, you, uh. no account. No, no, no. <laughs> Yo, this, this woman, I tell you what. She's very scared. I cannot do accounts. I really cannot do accounts. Believe me. <laughs> I did. I never studied accounts, you know. Ah, I think I studied a few never, months only. I only did. few I months did. in my poly time. <laughs> so, I did O-levels only, eh. Mm. Yeah. O-levels, I don't take accounts. My accounts is during my my poly time when we trying to we need to know a uh, different <laughs> procedure of the different kind Next of business. Time, That's why we study for both. Next hmm? time when we have a new business partner, right? The requirement I know what it is already. Must know, mm. Must know account. account. <laughs> mm. Otherwise, you don't want. go back to your home. Mm. <laughs> <That's so bad. laughs> Mm-hmm. Okay, second app. Oh second app. <laughs> second app is the email. The app that can allow me to check my email. Uh, this is the one. Although Why? in laptop also can. Why? Convenient. Nah. I don't need to, like to switch on like my laptop. That, hey, like that, uh, all your answer will be convenient, you know. It cannot, eh? Convenient. Of course. App, app, is, app is something make us convenient. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Can mm. you think outside mm. the box or not? What's the last one? You just now you didn't you, you didn't mention earlier what? Oh. That's why I give you such a answer. Maybe is your question problem? <laughs> I forgot my third answer, you know. Oh. <laughs> okay, you all continue. <laughs> Later I come back again. Okay, I can answer first. Are you ready, Steph, or you want me to go first? Yeah, go first, go ahead. I don't mind. Why? You want to copy my answer, is it? No la! <laughs> I have my answers in my head. Yeah, yeah. go on, go on. Okay, I'll go. I I cannot do without the camera app. So hmm. I'm talking about the one where you can take photos with and not not the one that you edit photos lah, you know. Because uh, for Apple, uh, the camera app comes with its own editor already. And I find that uh, that that's actually the editor I use the most. Uh, aside from another one when we when we use uh to take selfies la. but then the Apple one already has a inbuilt editor. Uh, most of my videos are actually edited uh on the editor also before going to iMovie. So, I would say, uh, that iMovie and the camera app will be two of the apps, right, that I really need. So my life actually uh, is kind of like I have no life. My life is all either I take a photo or I take a video or I go on live or I have meetings. <laughs> I think the next app that is kind of vital right now is Zoom, which I really hate actually, by the way. I really don't like Zoom. But in the pandemic, you really got no choice, right? Yeah, so the Zoom app. And I thought, I thought that Susan would say Zoom as well because she has so many things on Zoom, right? 
Maybe that's the one that she forgot. Okay, don't give her hints. Let her go and forget. Go, go. Your turn, Steph. My first app would be an app called Inside Time. I think, I think Time. Isaac woke up. Oh, maybe. That's why she's away, huh? Yeah. My first app would be an app called Inside Timer. So it's I N S I G H T Inside. So it's Why are you advertising for them? Because then later you're going to write it as Inside Timer. <laughs> I N S I D E. Uh, it's, it's a meditation app. So it has like free um, tracks where like, you can listen to people. Uh, give guided meditation sessions. And then it also has um, basically a, a timer app where it counts down and then it has little chimes that you can preset before you start your meditation session. So I find that useful if I want to have someone guide me along with the meditation, I can do that. If I just want a timer, I can do that. Yeah, and then it prompts me on when I should check in. As well. So that's helpful. I think my journaling app also has meditation inside, but I'm mm-hmm. I'm not very sure because I don't really do the meditations uh, mm-hmm. with guidance. Uh, I just do it myself, uh, Right. So for the app that I have, uh, the one that I told you about, right, has um has a uh, I think they call it a check in. So you actually check in uh, and talk about what you're feeling. And then you can choose mm. to meditate uh, right then and there if you want. Mm. Yeah. Previously, I used yeah, a then? different app. Previously, I used a different app, but then the, the company, I think, closed. So, oh, they are. So, yeah. So, they stopped functioning, I think, earlier this April. So, I was very sad. So, I switched to Inside Time on instead. But that one was a solid app. Anyways. My other app would be Facebook, probably. I like uh, seeing what people are doing in terms of uh, in terms of their personal life. So I connect people far, far away. Um, yeah. and so so you like being a busybody? I think, I think all of us have that kind of, <laughs> a bit of that feeling. Uh, we want to know what's going on. In a, um, in a, in a, in a depo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that, that would be my second app. Susan, do you have your third app? I see your back. Yes. What's your third? But the third answer, I was so worried that after I mentioned, then Debbie will say, No, okay, no. <laughs> oh, <laughs> what is it? Okay. Yo, the I calendar. Calendar. <laughs> the ah. calendar. Yeah. Oh, I because you uh, I. No, no. Because just now you mentioned that I cannot. I cannot copy answer. Ah. Oh. <laughs> so she tried to be more original. Okay, ah. No, no, no. But, but my original is the calendar. Ah. Original is the calendar. Because got mm. all your appointments inside. We're, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If I lost that, ah, then I cannot remember what what's my schedule for the next. Yeah. So calendar is something very I thought you have you a saw? Yeah. But I, I noticed that... Uh, my calendar in my handphone has the complete mm. uh, the agenda. Yeah. Complete agenda. So like mm, because maybe sometimes I'll... Yeah, yeah. I get, I get what Susan is saying. Because sometimes like personal mm, appointments, you. I will put only in my phone calendar. Then my physical plan won't have it. And also, I set my calendar to remind me like a day or two before the event. Ah uh, yeah. So then that that's is very useful. useful so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, well, sometimes we lucky forget. Sorry. You know what happened to me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well. I know, suddenly, my stand decided to misbehave. Wait, okay. Let me try again. Yeah. Then my my yeah. last answer would probably be the notes app. So the note, notes app. I, yeah. So I use it. Uh, in two ways or rather three ways I guess one is like for long term storage where like I need this info permanently and I want it to be portable I put it in my notes the other one is info dump so when I have like random ideas whether it's like art ideas or like uh, projects that I need to like attend to 
in the coming future I'll put it inside and then the last one is my loading to do and it's like small tasks that I need to get done either during this week or in the following weeks or something that I like want to pay attention to uh, then I'll put it in uh, this particular note yeah, that but you I also have. have a planner what? yeah I do have a planner but I don't put like small tasks into my planner because I feel like that's, that takes up a lot of space in my planner. So if it's, I, if it's something that I know that... That's I what a planner is for, isn't it? No, a planner is for like larger projects or things that like... If I don't have a specific date that I don't... I need to know when to do that, I'll put it in my like, to-do list. So then when I look at... When you get to oh, my okay. age, right? Then yeah. when you get to my age, right? You'll forget what, what you put where. <laughs> put too many yeah, places. Yeah, <laughs> Yeah, because you see, uh, you're saying that oh, the larger project is here and then the smaller project is there. Then by the time you come to my age, you will like, huh, which one I put where? You know? Yeah. You see. Yeah. So yeah. For that me, I have a planner that I put all of these in. So I don't use my phone for it. Yeah, and her, her planner very interesting. Her planner, her planner because, can take out the pages. Because! Okay, because! <laughs> <laughs> why, why? Tell us why. Because, right? If my phone runs out of battery, that goes everything. <laughs> bring battery pack. Yeah, but then you will never bring it. Bum off someone else's. <laughs> Hi, do you but have a charger? My... Yeah, but my phone will be my ex what. Oh. Yeah, so 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 I don't want. I will I will have my own planner, and then I have all my notes inside. And then I will write all the live show questions inside also. All in one place. Yes. Smart. It was it was an interesting question, Debbie. Okay, so are we ready for the next one? Still got two yeah. more. Oh, okay. okay. Number two or number five? No. I think number five is more easy actually. You want to end on a difficult question, oh my god. <laughs> I don't know, I'm letting you all choose. No, I think you start with the hard choose. one. I'm just telling you that mm. that number two is harder than number five. Okay, then we do number two first. Okay, number two. So, you know how, because of social media, you know what everybody's up to, right? So, it's mm-hmm. kind of like a... People. I guess now, now more so than ever, you can compare and then you can be like, sort of like, wow, this person is up to this, you know, like, in her life or in her, you know, his life. And then you can sort of, like, discreetly be a busybody because they went to post it on their Facebook, right? Thank so, you, it's not you asking questions. It's just you observing, uh, probably, mm-hmm. quietly or stuffily or whatever. So, what is something that everybody loves and enjoys but you don't understand or feel the same way? So, it can be something that, you know... uh. Maybe uh, someone is like commenting on this person's blog and then there's a new trend, right? What is something that everyone is doing and everybody loves and enjoys, but you probably either you don't feel the same way or you are like, so what? You know, yeah. Can, can it be like pop culture or does it have to be like art related? No, it can be anything. Ah. Oh, I don't understand the fandom behind like Star Wars and Lord of the Rings. And maybe even Harry Potter as well. I think Harry Potter one I understand though. Because of nostalgia, is it? Um, like you no, grew up with the I series. Think I, uh, when Harry Potter came out, I think I was already a teenager. Oh, was okay. I? So I think so, because I was out? a child. <laughs> I can search for you, hold on. <laughs> please, please go on. Know, uh, how not big fans we are. Yeah. Uh, okay. So, I guess, I guess we can talk about it as well. Yeah. But Harry Potter one, I can see why though. Yeah. So, your answer is not the Rings, or is it? What, what was the Rings is? and Star Wars. Oh, the first Harry Potter book was released on 26 June 1997. I just two years old. <laughs> I literally grew up with the series, man. Oh, and I distinctly remember being called Mud Blood in primary school. Yeah, then at the point of time, I cried about it. But now it's like, that's, that's kind of funny. Hi, yo. I cried about a lot of things in primary school. <laughs> but how does it 
does that affect you now? Nothing, right? Nothing, yeah. yeah. It's just like stupid, you know? kids being stupid, saying stupid things, right? Well, well, I do understand a lot of the rings and why it's a classic and a very um, watershed book and series. I can also understand Hogwarts and everything, but I'm like you, I don't really get the Star Wars thing though. Or the Star Trek. Pew, 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 pew. I think, I think Star Wars and Star Trek, I still can understand a bit of the Star Wars. And then the Star Trek is totally over my head. I remember like trying to sit down and like watch the Lord of the Rings movie. Then the first time I couldn't. Then the second time I thought maybe I'm older and I can like watch it and understand it, appreciate it more. Then I couldn't again. Then I was like, okay. I'm done. I think for a lot of the rings, right? You need to read the book first. Mm, maybe like a world building yeah. and all, right? Yeah. Hogwarts mm. as well as in Harry Potter as well. I need to start from the book. Because you know why? When they have uh, screen time, right? They mm-hmm. try and mash everything into the like, <laughs> slot. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, then it's like no head, no tail, right? Unless you know the story, then you get it. Lah. Mm. Maybe for people like us who don't know the story, we'll never get it, you know? What about you and Susan? Or do you not understand? Okay, for me, for me, it's like, uh, I don't really understand uh, chain mail. Like, you know how people... Oh, they they send these to five people. Face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Send this and repost this on your timeline and, and uh, repost this to show that you care, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, survivors, you know? I don't get it because I'm like, well, then if I don't have Facebook... Oh, don't I don't care. have anything that I can repost to them. I don't care lah. Okay. But, you see, posting about something doesn't mean that you don't care what. It's just you didn't post lah or you post lah. That's all lah. What about, what about those like art related? You know, they say like um, uh, five day challenge where you post something without words and then you tag someone each day that kind of thing. Do you still consider that chain mail? It kind of is still chain mail, but right, it's it not so right. offensive as if you care or you don't care lah. You know. <laughs> like, it makes you sound like, you know, it's like they, they sort of write on your empathy levels ah, to Mm-mm. sort of get the thing on your profile. Does Mm-mm. that make sense? Like, oh, I care very much about survivors, so I must go and post, you know. But actually, you don't have to ah, you can still care lah, but you just don't have to post lah, right? The art one is not so bad because the art one is kind of like you are sharing, you know, your creativity and it can spark joy in other people. Mm. Right? I read that. But I, I read that those... What good does the thing do? Le? Like, so you care lah, then. I read that those chin actually is like a way for hackers to like find out like who are your friends. Then they can like uh, try to hack into your account. Yeah. Or also create like fake accounts and all, you know. Then I another another so so that's the that's something and then the the next one that is related to it is that you know how people play the I think there's this this Facebook app uh that you know you do the quiz and then you post the results. Word word though yeah. Uh, that that is the word, word is one not... and then there's yeah. those personal personality uh, types. Yeah yeah types, yeah. You know where you actually uh go in and then they tell you oh. You you are a strong woman, and then oh, yes. you have suffered yes. a lot in your life, and then people <laughs> yeah, should yeah. take you seriously. I'm like okay, yeah, I'm like checked out after that. So I don't funny. need an app to tell me that I'm strong. Hmm. Hmm. You possibly have someone hack your account. But what, what, yeah, but what do you expect your app to say though? You are a bastard. No, right? Maybe like that. Maybe no play the the game, what? Maybe they just want like, they like read it, then they're like, oh, it, I, I feel this resonates with me a lot. Then they feel like validated. So they post it, repost it to be like, this but is how I feel. But isn't it sad that you need an app to be validated? I'm not going to judge. I'm not going to see be <laughs> someone's <laughs> the, therapist. <laughs> the, there's a time that I, I think about this thing also. Why people like this kind of app? Uh, yeah, why? For, for personal, personally, for me, is that like, like what you say, I'm, I feel that myself is a strong woman, so I do not need an app to tell yeah. me. So, yeah. so who are the people who will like this kind of apps? Probably they are those who less confidence or they need someone who, who tell them that you are good. So this kind of people, they will, uh, attract to this kind of apps. 
So like in this app, the all the result is all the positive good words. Mm-hmm. Then it might be a uh, some way that encourage those kind of people. Then, then uh, that's why I think that... of the one good thing about this yeah. thing. Yeah. Then, then as human mm. beings, we have failed. Uh, we have failed each other. Putting you, you oh, tell me any good things. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. tell me what's good about me. I have to realize an app uh, to find out that I'm a strong woman, you know. Poor thing. Yeah, so we have filled each other. Why, 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 why can't another human being validate you? You have to rely on an so, app. So maybe, maybe when like, you see your Facebook friends posting these things, then you need to like, drop them a message. Be like, I think you're a strong woman too. No, I love you. Please stop yeah. doing this. To yourself. <laughs> so the, the hackers will get you. <laughs> Where's this coming from? <laughs> so funny. Well, recently, you know, talking about checking in, right? I recently found out that two of my friends have gotten a divorce, and I didn't even oh. know about it. You know, and it's been some years already. Yeah. So yeah, mm, check in with your mean. friends often. Mm. Yeah. And I haven't caught up with either of them. They have a daughter together. So don't know what's... Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. So you see, we, we can't take uh, the human touch away. La. I think it's, it's just... Uh, you, 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 you rely on a, a, a silly computer-generated quiz to tell you that you are strong. La. No, la. I mean, surely there's more to human interaction than that, right? Hmm. Mm. And and then if you if you are listening to this somewhere out there, and then you want us to validate you, please come okay and ask us. You know, am I doing <laughs> things right? You know, what can I do or something? You know? And then at least you have the human touch. You know, like we can give you feedback or we can share some tips with you or just talk to you, right? Yeah. Mm. The comment section I mean, always open. Are, um, yeah, I guess, and also like the. Direct messages, you call it direct mm-hmm. messages DM, in correct. Instagram. Yeah. Yes. So 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 I guess it's like rather than rely on like stuff that makes you feel pointless, right? Yeah. Go reach out to somebody and actually life is worth living. Yes, you will gradually find. I think this right, kind right? of uh, idea is uh, about mm. the same as the reading the horoscope. Weekly, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you can yeah. do it for entertainment, yeah. right? You can do it for entertainment. I'm not saying, uh, I'm not saying it's not entertainment. Hey, but some play. some people, some people really believe on that. You know, they, 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 yeah, yeah. We are like reading it for fun, <sighs> but some people really take it very serious. <laughs> so guess, every kind of people there in the world. I guess if you appeal to logic, then a lot of things don't really, you know, hold true, lah. Because a lot of these are, mm. are computer script, right? I mean, Susan will know yeah. Susan is IT, IT person, right? Yeah. Mm. So I guess, I guess there are things that the computer can be trained to script or, or by script or by, by, by programming, right? But my point is that you shouldn't rely your self-worth on these kind of things, you know? I mean, entertainment is fun. Uh. I mean, I've played these quizzes as well, right? But I wouldn't rely on it to judge whether oh I'm a good person or a bad person or I need this or I need that, you know? Yeah. I mean it's quite sad, right? You reduce your entire uh, you know, characteristics to something that is Yeah. So I'm wondering is it because the pandemic has caused a lot of people to sort of withdraw from social life, you know? And then they have to sort of find find joy, I don't know, find joy elsewhere. Maybe it's just validation. Yeah. Yeah, so if you need validation and you are hearing this, right, just come and... I mean, we we are not going to eat you up. Say hi. Yeah, come say hi. Yeah. And then if you think that, you know, you can't draw or something like that, please don't think that, you know, uh, your art is not special or anything because as long as you have created it, it's, it's considered art. Yeah. Maybe Steph will be the expert of that since her her company is called Everything is Art. I think I think also for starting artists, it um don't starving don't, artists. Starting starting artists. Oh, Good oh, heaven, oh. starving artist. Yeah, 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 yeah. If you're a starting artist 
need to enunciate my words more properly. If you're a starting artist, don't um <laughs> don't downplay the importance of sharing your art because someone else might be a starting artist and they they yeah. they might see your work and then they might be, feel very encouraged and then you can start a chain reaction of people being more willing to share their art. And it's not that like Debbie or Susan or myself, like we, we all started somewhere, you see. It's just that what you see right now is what we came to after years of practice. But you as a starting artist also can get there. It's just it takes time. So it's not that I think we are unwilling. As well. yeah. Yeah. It's not that we're unwilling to share like our early work. I was even thinking that it would actually be beneficial for for a starting artists to see how like how we started where we started from and then just compare that from um what we create now. Because a lot of people think like, oh, you create something beautiful and they think it's like drop in the sky. But it's not, you know, we, we worked on it. We, and like, like you say, we persevered. A lot of it's practice and then finding out what works and what doesn't work. And a lot of, a lot of art actually also is muscle memory. It's experimental lah. Mm. Yeah, so you just, experimental. If, if you're I mean, you, artist, we, don't, we don't come out of the womb knowing what to draw, yeah. you know? Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. No, we, we do, we do and then we forget. We don't, we, we forget oh, along the way. Okay. Then we have to relearn. Okay, fine. <laughs> yeah, so uh, in the 7 and 5 challenge group, actually, I've seen like um, more novice Zentangle tanglers and then they share their art and then they always seem like so um, embarrassed about it. But I always appreciate these people for sharing their, their early works, you know, when they just started the, the tangling practice because that would encourage other people to post their art and you know, not feel embarrassed about their their early starts because there's really nothing to be embarrassed about. Everyone's working on their own journey. You know? Actually, actually, I think the 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 how do I explain uh? I think the the thing that you should be afraid of is not trying at all. Uh, that mm. is the thing that is the hindrance for most people. You know, mm. yeah, or stopping right? because like, once oh, you start, right? yeah, correct. Because you know, you know how our brains work, right? You begin a thought process. Right, mm. so so I shared this with Stephanie long ago, right? When when your when your brain uh has a thought in his in his mind, and I think I think Susan will agree with me because she does a neurographical thing, right? So when you have a thought in your mind, right, your brain is not linear. It's not a you don't um how do I explain uh? It kind of like it's like a it's like a frond, you know, it's like a palm tree or something where you once you have a thought, it will branch out into many other thoughts. You know, so the the act of creating art, the act of processing your thoughts, uh, brings you to more thoughts. You know, it's hard to think about an apple as a, a standalone in a vacuum, right? Because when we talk about an apple, our brain visualizes the apple. Is it red? Is it green? Is it ripe? Right. So in a way, uh, you can't process a certain thought without having it expand into more and more thoughts. So in a way, right, you might never experience the fullness of something if you never try it because you think you know how it feels like. But the fact is when you are doing it or when you are drawing it or when you are dancing it or walking it or running it, I don't know, it, it, could, it could bring you to a place of deeper realization about yourself. And it just not trying at all, right, means that you'll never get to that place lah, because you rule out the possibility already. Right, in your head it's already a no. Can we have the neurographical expert weigh in on this? Huh? No la, no expert. <laughs> <laughs> not not yet. Not yet. Soon soon. Soon, soon to be yet. expert. Soon to be expert. <laughs> Long way to go. Hey hello, you you this sound to call it. You can say new expert war. Who can say I'm expert? Compared <laughs> to that. <laughs> Compared to us, you are the expert. Compared to us, you are the expert here. So, you are the expert. Full stop. Okay, right. anyway. Right, Steph. I, I, um, not, not certified right, yet. Uh, but, but out of the three of us, she, she is the, yeah, the most competent. Thesis, yeah. Got training eh. Got thesis eh. Can la. <laughs> can la, can. I, I cannot mm. thesis. You can la. Susan, you never, you never share your answer also. You never answer a question. Uh, wait, wait, I want her to 
Oh, part one, part one first. Part one, part one. She got right away. What's the part one? Ayo! <laughs> really <laughs> forget. <laughs> it caused people to lose their train of thoughts. <sighs> you answer for her. You make her lose her train of thoughts. <laughs> oh, yeah, what's the, what's the question? Ah? ah, never mind. Forget it. Um, okay, so next question. Uh. Yo. <laughs> no, you haven't answered the question. I knew this. I you really discount. You, you're asking about the, the social media that you cannot cannot understand or cannot um, appreciate. It's not social media. Huh? It's not social media. 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 It's not Okay. Okay. The, it's not. It's not confined to social media. Okay. It's not confined to social mm. media. It can be anything. It can be a trend. Mm. Anything. So the question was, mm. what the trend? Is, okay. Uh, Steph, am I correct? What is something that everyone loves mm. and admires and and plays like, along with, but you don't yeah. understand or feel the same way? It doesn't have to be social media, but because Steph and I, the examples we chose were from social media, so it sounds like it's mm. a social media, but it's not. Yeah. It's not a social media mm. question. Nah. Got people. Okay. Got people. But my answer. Okay, mm. You don't interrupt her. Let's just forget okay, again. Okay, okay, okay. Your answer, Susan. <laughs> come, come. <laughs> Cannot interrupt old people. Yo. Then you forget. <laughs> and you got old. Excuse me. Okay, okay, okay. You cannot remember again. I remember, I remember. <laughs> okay. Uh, the thing that I... <laughs> The one that I want and to want to say about is that the uh, is from social media also. Is I think there's a time that uh, those kind of a video which is uh something like the sabotage. I can't remember oh, there's a time yes, the video they, they, they video when they sabotage people. Like I think I can't remember there's a maybe there's a chair prank, uh behind them. I, I not the prank. That there's a chair behind, then they just uh do some road uh the repeating uh action. Then but when the time is back to the sitting position, right, the other person just pull off the chair from there. Then the person that who are not aware of, they just fall down on the floor. Then that one I think there's a time that a lot of people uh trying to sabotage their friends by filming this process. Mm. Oh, so that one I, I really cannot I cannot understand. Then uh, even those people who yeah, didn't, quite dangerous, uh, eh? yeah, yeah, very, it's very dangerous. And in overseas, there are some cases that the the person really paralyzed after this because of the mm. tailbone, which is yeah. uh, just uh, hit on the floor. Yeah. Then the things that I cannot understand is that, um, although maybe some people say is that I will, I want to share this because it's very fun. Mm. But then when we share something which is you think is not right, but you still share. It's not uh to like what we call uh to alert people, but maybe if for some teenagers they are not mature enough, when they see this, they will replicate it. Then they do uh, the same thing with their friends. Mm-hmm. That is something is a very bad uh cycle or the just repeat these kind of things. This one is something I cannot understand. Mm. Mm. Yeah, mm. especially old folks. Yeah. Okay, imagine you try on old folks. Ayuh. They might now, never now, recover, you know. Now got different yeah. different kind of challenges, uh, Susan. Now got but mm. last time was the Tide Pod challenge on TikTok. Then the Tide Pod, uh, you know the Tide Pod, T I D E P O D. It's like a uh laundry detergent in a little plastic wrapper. So the idea is that you're supposed to throw these these Tide Pods into your washing machine, and then it will help. Uh, the the oh, plastic. Hi. Will, Oh, yeah, so then kids would like chew on it, and then some people got into hospital because of it. Yeah. Oh yeah, I what? saw that before. Yeah. I think there's a time. It's just a trend, lah. They thought they... it's a candy. It's a trend. Yeah. So so they they film themselves doing this kind of stupid nonsense, and then they land themselves in hospital. Uh, I saw anything on my poor snail. If it chews <laughs> on it, it'll be gone. Then yeah. then um. Another one that I read about was it's called the choking game. So like kids, like literal oh kids God. and teenagers would um basically strangle themselves until they'll pass out. Ayyoh. 
Yeah, and some some kids will actually die from it. And I'm just thinking, like, like Susan said, like, you know, as kids, they don't have that thinking process that, oh, I share this because I think it's funny. But then if someone who sees it says, like, oh, I'm going to repeat this behavior, I'm going to emulate this behavior, that's actually very dangerous. Mm. And you don't know that. Yeah, so, 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 so please, before you yeah, do something say. silly and you want to reach out to someone, please, please reach out to us first. I mean, we're not the most sane, <laughs> but at least we care about you. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> <sighs> well, I have one last question. Shall we just finish it? Yeah, sure. Why not? Yes. Yeah. It's already 4 30. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Okay, what second. is your what is your current obsession or pastime or current favorite thing to do? It doesn't it's... have to be social media or anything. And please don't tell me it's Ventangle. Ah. That one is everybody. Okay. The bee is yours is yours taking <laughs> care of your snails and little tops. <laughs> My little are dying though. I know, so sad. Yeah. I don't know what to do with them also. Is it because of the goal? Yeah. Like, maybe it's the goal. Like. Uh, yeah, I don't know. La. We will figure out eventually. Well, I take it as survival of the fittest now. Yo! So survive, make it <laughs> up. You, you don't survive, then too bad for you. So poor thing. Yeah. Because I tried everything we did. I just I at this point I don't want to put back the grow lights because they need to shift again soon, like when the rat come, right? When the rat comes. Yeah. So when the rat comes then they are shifting again. I don't want to take like put in more things and to take out more things. Does that make mm-hmm. sense? Yeah. Anyway, don't care about any thoughts, like why is it <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> Sick me. <laughs> <sighs> um Susan, do you have one? Yes. Okay, what do you have yours? Okay, I go first. Okay. My answer is <laughs> playing re- Lego with my son. <laughs> Actually, yeah. <laughs> the Lego. <laughs> mm, it, I, I, I quite enjoy. Uh, okay, okay. I, I, I love playing Lego. Mm. So most of the time, my son, because uh, he's three, he so far he still cannot follow the instruction of the the booklet to to form the kind of buildings or cars. So most of the time he will ask me to to do it for him. Then after I finish, then he just he will just play. Then maybe just dismantle it. Then oh, mama okay. <laughs> again. <laughs> so he's the uh, slowly he's going to to build something, but it's not follow the instruction. So mm. I'm the one who do that for him. So I I enjoy the process of uh, playing the Lego. I do not know why. I I quite enjoy the building yeah. part. Uh. To, the building and the cars. I like to. So, I, so, I think so I so like to read the user right? guide. Yes, yes. So I follow the instruction. Oh. I, mm, I do lah. Don't say he's three year old. I twenty seven year old, so never follow instructions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I find myself that like to like to read the user manual, uh, user guide. Oh no! <laughs> okay, <laughs> the next person who answer, <laughs> Debbie. <laughs> Debbie, uh, what answer? Currently, currently, so I won't call it an obsession or a pastime or a trend lah, but. Recently, I've become vegan. Okay, full stop. <laughs> oh, like that only. <laughs> okay, done. <laughs> Recently, I've become vegan. I mean, it wasn't something I planned to do. Yeah. I didn't plan to become ve- uh, on becoming vegan. Uh, I just became vegan at the job of a head, literally. Yeah. Uh, after my last hospital stay. Hopefully, it's really the last hospital stay because I don't want to go back. Right? So, mm. I became vegan uh, just to cope with uh, the second vaccine and, and the third vaccine as well because my body is reacting to the vaccines in a very poorly way uh, that includes symptoms that look like heart attacks and, uh, well, they don't know what it is still, like, basically. So, because they don't know what it is, uh, I think it's better for me to sort of adjust my diet to suit a low inflammatory diet. So mm. that's what I've been doing. Yeah. Uh, it wasn't a particularly fun or easy, well, yeah, journey. But 
I'm not hating it, hating it either. You know, I'm just doing the necessary lah. Mm. But I never thought I'll be vegan though. I thought I'll be like, the last person to convert. Like, like, I like cheese. <laughs> Poor thing. Remember one session like she was cheese. gushing. She was gushing about how she choose her husband yeah, over I know. I think I, her I think cheese I over her husband. Too much about cheese already. Yeah, yeah. Then yeah, I have to God, it's it like, up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, well thing. actually, actually, there is vegan cheese. Yeah, there is, there is vegan cheese. It's just that I think it's a bit of a joke, lah. Because like, where do you get a vegan cheese from? A vegan cow? Soy. <laughs> oh what? Soy lah. I mean, right. I yeah, but my oh, point is that oh. it's not, it's not cheese. Yeah, yeah, it I get you. Soy. Again. It's not cheese. Yeah, so so I find that it's like a corn, you know, like it's, uh, it's yeah. not meat, meat. <laughs> impossible burger. Yeah, yeah, it's impossible to understand. Yeah, how about that? Mm. Mm-hmm. Ah, yeah, yeah. So, so, so this ties in with the previous question also. I don't understand impossible meat, lah. <laughs> protein, <laughs> ah, people want protein. protein. Yeah, but from like this person, yeah, but Protein is fake protein. So if you are vegan yeah. and you decide to be vegan, then why? What business do you have eating meat and fake meat for that matter? <laughs> Then that's not that's not what being vegan is about already, what? Because maybe 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 they just want to be ethical, but they miss the taste, so they they, they come to a compromise. I oh my goodness! <laughs> so anyway, funny. That's, that's something I don't understand. So like, like meat is not meat, cake is not cake, cheese is not cheese. For me. Hello, you're supposed to answer the question. Yeah, hold on <laughs> la. I'm just giving you a pause so that I you can like, have no. <laughs> It's to make sure that I don't talk over you. Go. <laughs> For me This is how you know we've been together too long, right? Yeah man. For me, recently I bought um three plants. And I think this is the first time in a while that I've bought plants for myself. If you remember in a previous session I I asked my husband, like, oh, would you be willing to buy me new plants? And he was like, so that you can bring them home and kill them. Yeah, so that, that tells you a lot about my previous plant experiences. So I'm hoping that um, these three plants do well. I specifically asked the, the plant shop for, like, uh, low-lie indoor plants. So hopefully they'll be easier to take care of. And then my mother-in-law very nicely uh, offered to uh, report them from the plastic pot that uh, they come in at the store into uh, terracotta pots to give them the best chance at, at surviving and thriving. You know? so, so yeah, we'll see, we'll see how it goes. What plants are they? Don't know the name. Um, my, I know one is money plant. Then the other two, my mother didn't told me what they were, but I can't remember their names. Well, you, you like money plant. Uh? I didn't know that. I, I, I just thought it looked so many. It looked cute in the pot. I could have given them to you without having to buy. What thing? What, what happened? Oh, you put them downstairs. Yeah, yeah. Remember. Yeah, I gave them. I, I put them at the yeah. at the lobby, common area. Yeah. Uh, and, and then someone, got someone probably took all of them. Yeah. So I had I had ferns, I had uh ferns, and then I had money plants, and then I had what else did I have? Uh? I had a bunch. Yeah, I cannot. Remember. Mm. Oh, maybe he's lagging a little. I had a call. No, I oh. had a call. Okay. Yeah, I will call them back later. So I was saying that I had the plants, and then I put them uh downstairs, and people just took them. They were very healthy plants, doing very well, thriving. And then if I knew that Stephanie you wanted them, I would have given take them the huh? most. What? Yeah, I'm just explaining to everyone like it's just that she couldn't take them in the move. That's why she moved house. That's why. Uh, actually, I thought people were like, why? Why did she back. putting the plants in the common corner? No, no, no. This was before. Oh, okay. This was way before. Yeah, this was uh, I think when the studio was moving in at that time. You know, like about a year or so okay. more ago. Yeah. Yeah. But but I got rid of them because uh, they were growing too well. So what happened was they were growing <laughs> way too well. And then right, uh, so I big. didn't know. I didn't know because uh, you know when you walk past the corridor and you see them from one perspective, right? Mm, mm, mm. Yeah. And I would often rotate my plants 
So I will pay my plants like maybe once a month uh, for them to grow on all sides. But then, right, there was this particular month where my money plant uh, suddenly grew by two uh, stories, you know. As in, it went down to the, like, two stories down and it was growing, like, in that direction. So I, I tried my best to sort of uh, cut it back to size. Uh, but it grew again. Haircut. So, yeah, yeah. So, in, I mean, I decided that instead of hacking it all the time, right, like hacking it apart all the time, right, that it would, might be better to let it, like someone else have it, like, you know, with more space so that you won't go and disturb my neighbors downstairs. Because I only found out one day when I was crossing the road from the other side and then I saw, oh, what, what is that hanging, you know? And then it was green and then I was looking, oh no, that's my plant. And I, I had this <laughs> moment so inconsiderate, of Oh my god! You know, you know how like your child misbehaves, and then you watch, and then you see from afar. Oh my god! That's my child, right? He's like, oh my god, that's my plant. <laughs> misbehaving, like, you know, misbehaving, terrible, right? Yeah, yeah. Like, oh my god, that's my yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay. Yeah lah. So funny. Yeah. Anyways, this is a very interesting session. Lots of funny, funny questions to to recap what we went through today basically our string was made out of three dots different ways that you can uh, use a three dot string can be three dots and then you connect them together in an interesting way maybe straight lines or curvy lines that you use to connect the three dots um, I did three circles and then on my tile the circles were interconnected so this is my completed tile with shading done with intense blocks Susan, you want to share your towel? Yeah, mine is uh, from the three dots then become the something like the splash, mm-hmm. the color with the green, blue and the pink. Very nice. And I start doing the tangle. Yeah. I like the white bead curtain. Very nice. Yeah. Very nice. Mm. Yeah. I like this also. <laughs> so, uh, Debbie, what about mm. yours? Two pages? Yeah, it's not how. It's, uh, okay, nice. it's from the project pack. So if mm. you're thinking of buying this book, it's from the Project Pack 06. 06, uh, good to know. Yeah, it's a few years back now. Mm. Uh, so I'm holding up so that you can see because I think it's kind of like bad lighting. So I have patches of black ink. Uh, and then I did my three dots on the black ink. So some of it is like not very uh, visible now anymore. And also, well, this string will just disappear, right? Three dots. Yeah. So in the middle, I have like a gigantic white seeds in the form of a square tile. So I use the regular tile just to form uh, a frame, a white seeds frame. And I might repeat the three dots here as I go because I think it's like kind of empty without, you know, like you have the nice frame and then the border and then nothing in the center, right? So mm-hmm. that's why I decided on a white seeds tile. So I actually did something like an almost symmetry because both sides are different. Uh, I don't know whether I can zoom out. I can't zoom out, so I have to hold it this way. Both sides are different. But you probably can't really see what's the difference until you sort of like look very close. Even I can't tell you actually from here. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. And then I put in some shading as well with uh, Sakura Koi. Sakura yeah. Koi. Nice. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, if you can go along with us, we'd love to see your, your artwork. Uh, this reco- a, a recording of this session will actually be made <laughs> available uh, on our Instagram profile at Seven Forest Five Rivers and also on our YouTube channel. You can find us at youtube.com slash C slash Seven and Five R Studio. Uh, Debbie is at Tangle.Pursuit, Susan is Susan Yo at dot CZT, and then I am Hespen underscore will draw or on Instagram tag us if you tangle along with us and did something similar to our artworks we always love to see what you create yeah and of course if you tangle along with us or even if you went on your own little merry way and explored uh, their why on your own do post your tile in our Facebook group 7F5R Challenge you can search 7F5R Challenge directly on Facebook or go to this link bit.ly slash fb Yeah, Thank you so much for spending, what, two hours? <laughs> two, yeah, it's been two hours with us. Yeah, thank you so much. and We really appreciate it. And we hope to see you again next week, Wednesday, 2.45pm Singapore time. 
Yeah, thank you so much. Just thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.